It's like a transitional makeup look into fall. I always start with a under eye primer because I have a lot of discoloration here. A lot of purples and stuff that I want to cancel out. I'm using my trusty Fenty Beauty color corrector and my favorite Rare Beauty brush. I think it just brightens the eyes a bit. And then I recently got this Rare Beauty eyeshadow primer because my eyelids are always creasing. I'm still undecided if I really like it. I like it because it gives a nice base to your lids for eyeshadow, like an even base. But in terms of like stopping creasing, I still notice at the end of the day a little bit of creasing, but not nearly as bad as it would have been without it. I'm going in with more color corrector because it seems to be one of those days. So this before versus after, a lot better, a lot, just more weight. And I've only used two products. This I bought recently and it's really, really good. I bought it on sale and it just gives such a gorgeous skin-like feel. It's the Makeup Forever HD Skin Undetectable Stay True Foundation. Just to even out the skin tone a bit. It blends in super seamlessly. I don't know if you could tell the lighting. And it just melts. I have two NARS concealer shades. One of the top one is ginger, the bottom one is um, custard. Ginger is more of like a summery shade. Custard is kind of, I would say, more of my 90% of the time shade. I'm gonna go in with custard right now. I kind of just highlight the center of my face. So looking like I have a good solid base, but it definitely looks like I'm a bit washed out. So I need to bring back some of the contour and natural shadows of my face. And my favorite way of doing that is with Patrick Ta Swapping Palette, where you have the contour and then the bronzer. So I just think this is a really easy way, especially if you're a beginner. The lighting is so harsh that it doesn't look like it made a difference, but um, I promise you it does. See the shadow it's creating? I didn't have that before. Then I'm going with some blush. This is probably my favorite one from Nude Sticks. And I think it gives a nice rosiness, but it's also kind of autonomous, in my opinion. I'm taking the Laura Mercier Loose Powder. to kind of make that look sharper. So that's set. The lighting just washes me out, but there's contour and all that blush and all that jazz done. You just can't see it. Lovely. I'm gonna take this little brush, which has a little bow tie on it. It's so cute. And I'll take the bronzer part of the Patrick Tom. I'm gonna add a pinch of the Glossier Cloud Paint in Storm, just maybe more on the apples to give kind of a flushed look. So I think that looks fresh for fall. Gorgeous. A little bit of boy brow action. I'm gonna take my mini Luna bronzer. It's so tiny and cute. Like I kind of want just an all over brownie mocha lid, I guess. To make it look more natural with your nose contour, if you've bronzed your nose or contoured it, take the bronzer using your eye and bring it here, like to your nose bridge, and then blend it down. It just kind of 
seamlessly connects everything. Taking a little bit, I'm just squishing this because I'm lazy and under my eyes to connect it. I'm gonna use this gorgeous Charlotte Tilbury pot. Just dipping in here. Just for a very subtle, elevated eye look. You don't mind if I use the viewfinder, do you? <laughs> it's actually hard to use the viewfinder. <laughs> Obviously. Obviously, glossy future do. I've been using this as my highlight all summer. Like I don't own an actual highlighter. Okay. Max Spice Liner. I think we're gonna take a red lipstick. This is this is bougie. This is Chanel. But I'm gonna blot this red lipstick on. Hmm. Let's see if layering Glossier's fuzz lipstick that I love dearly will make it more the mauve, rosy look I want. Looks literally exactly the same. Cool, cool, cool. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I guess you could call this the tomato girl makeup. Like these trend names are crazy. Tomato makeup, <laughs> fall makeup with, I guess summer skin with a more fall lip. I like it though, I like the lip. If you're wondering, the lipstick is Chanel. Rouge Allure 169 in Rouge Temptation. All right, thank you so much for watching this very chaotic get ready with me that turned into this finished product. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.